Hi guys and welcome to TickBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22631.1906. This build for the beta channel is a bigger build that introduces some new features and improvements from the dev channel. So I think we're safe to say that some of the features that we're going to see in the version 23H2 are on the beta channel. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all i remind you and also in the article below you're going to have a full explanation on that the better channel has two different builds that are always releasing one that has all the new features turned on by default or rolled out and one that has new features off by default but of course you can always enable those features by just checking for updates or using Vive tool if you're interested. So now let's talk about a few changes regarding the taskbar and system tray. You can now hide the time and date in the system tray. You can turn this on by right clicking on the system tray clock and choosing adjust date and time. So we're just going to do that adjust date and time and we have here hide time and date in the system tray. And you can see this is um, bugged at the moment. Phantom Ocean throughout Twitter discovered this first. Basically the slider works in reverse because when you turn it on it will show the time and date in the system tray and if you turn it off it will basically hide the time and date in the system tray. They could e very easily fix this or they could just change the wording inside the setting to match the slider effect if they want. And also when right clicking on the network icon in the system tray, Microsoft added the option to diagnose network problems. And you can click on it and of course it will open the new get help app in Windows 11. Related to the lock screen, Microsoft updated the network flyout on the lock screen to align with the Windows 11 design principles. We're going to have a screenshot of how that looks and they also updated the the Windows security firewall notification dialogues that match the Windows 11 visuals. Yet again, a screenshot if you want to see how that looks. They also added support for bringing adapters via command line via NetSH. Microsoft also added links to advanced properties for network adapters and internet properties under settings, network and internet and advanced network settings. And you can see here more adapter options. You can click on edit and it will open the old legacy menu where you can change more settings and have an in-depth look over the properties of that certain adapter. Also, Microsoft added a way to view Wi-Fi passwords for your known networks. That's a very nice addition. Via settings, network and internet, Wi-Fi and manage known networks. And you have a button here, view Wi-Fi security key. Microsoft also added additional options to the data usage page that allows for daily and weekly data limits. The page will also show how far a data limit has been exceeded. Also, Microsoft added the ability to join Bluetooth personal area networks under the settings, Bluetooth and devices, and devices. This option will appear for pair devices like phones that are sharing internet over Bluetooth. Right clicking on a Win32 app and start or searching for the app and choosing uninstall will now take you to the settings to uninstall the app and that is pretty nice. Also the settings page for wheel devices such as Surface Style has been updated to better match the Windows 11 design principles. And also the new option that basically shows the notification counter as zero if you have no notifications is also present in this build and the better channel. So I think this is great for the better channel we have a lot of improvements and changes that are very nice for this channel and the windows insider program and we have only one fix for this build this update addresses a compatibility issue the issue occurs because of unsupported use of the registry so this was the build for today in the better channel if you want to learn more about this build you can always check out the article below in the video's description and of course make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated if you want to be the first one who sees new videos like this one i was a from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.